Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are able to show this log login and registration tabs. We have enabled it, right? Now when I click on the register tab, we are not able to see the registration screen. Still, we are able to see the login screen only. So let's try to differentiate between the login page and the register page. For that one, what I will be trying to do is so here we will be having this auth view, right? So this is our form. Okay. And here in this one, let's say that here this is our login. So we will try to keep the same form for both the login and registration. But here we need to change the titles. For that reason, I can write something like constant form title is equal to ref. Sorry, it's not a ref. Computed. 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 It should be imported from the view. Computed. And here I will write that return the value register dot value if the register value is true means then the form title should be register or otherwise it should be login okay so this is our title and let's take this form title and here we are having this login right and i can save this one like this form title and i am using like this form title now if you try to see the output now if i click on this one if i refresh this page and I will click on the registration. See here we are able to see the differentiation between the login and registration. The form I am maintaining the same only but here the user should be able to know it. Now here the button we are trying to show the submit right. So here also we will try to show that when we are in the register the active tab is register means we will show the button label as register and if, the, if it is in the login means we will show that button as a login. Let's try to see and where is this one yeah it's an anchor link right so here also we will use the form title same form title i will try to use it right so now if i try to use this form title now let's see the output and if i click here register login and register i'm able to see the fine up to here it is finished now what i want to do is so here we have finished it off now when when the user clicks on this form okay when the user clicks on this form submit dot prevent when the user clicks on this form, form, I need to call the method on submit. Now here we will be having a method on submit constant on submit is equal to it's a method right. So here console.log submit click. So what submit button click we will try to do it. So whether he, whether the user clicked on the registration or the login, we'll try to see. Now if you try if you if I inspect the element here. Okay, now let's go to the console and here I will refresh the page again. Yeah, if I click on the login, so nothing is happening, right? Let's see here what is happening. If I go here, we are having the anchor link. So we need to replace it with a button. It should not be anchor link. It's a form, right? So button. So by default, it will be a submit button only. So there is no need to mention the type. If you want to mention, you can mention it without any problem. Now we are having the button. If I click on this one, See, now we are able to see that submit click. So we are able to trigger the click event. Fine. Now we are having two input elements that is nothing but email and password. So let's try to have a binding for this one. I am taking the variables something like constant credentials credentials is equal to here we, we will be having the email which is of type empty and we will be having another one nothing but password. So this is also empty and here this should be a reactive. I am taking it as a reactive reactive. Let's import the reactive from there. Now this is our credentials. Let's add this one bind this one using the VIF model VIF model is equal to credentials. Whatever the name you want you can give it. So I am taking the name as a credentials. Now here the password. So VIF model is equal to credentials dot password. So that's it. So I'm not trying to make uh, these validations and all those things. When the user clicks on the submit, I want to check the credentials console.log credentials, whether we am able to carry the credentials to the submit or not. So here credentials. Okay. I don't know the exact spelling credentials TIA or TAI. Please uh, let me know in the comments if I am writing wrong. Fine. Let's refresh this page. I hope that we will be able to see hey, what happened. Uh, unable to refine password. What has happened? Password credential. See, spelling mistake. I don't know why I am writing TIA. Mm, okay, let's go here. 
yeah now we are able to see the login and here i am writing some email and i am writing the password if i click on the login here i am able to get the email and password so that means we are able to carry the email and password to the submit button fine let's move on to the next one now here let's write some basic validation that means if not of credentials dot uh, email or not of credentials dot password credentials dot password and here also you'll try to do it credentials now if both are not there means then if both are not there means so if any of uh, email or password is empty means then what i will do is alert please enter email and password okay and i will do return so i will stop here only now what i will try to do if register dot value is there so that means if the register dot value means if it is a register dot value if the guy is if, I, if the guy has if the user has clicked on the register button then console dot log we need to write the register logic so here register clicked and we will try to write the um, credentials credentials now else means so here if else means then it is a login so then i will paste the same thing console dot log so this time login click so in order to have a differentiation so that's it let's see that whether it will work fine or not now if i try to press and uh, refresh this page and i am writing something in the login page and here also if i click here see login clicked and we are able to get the details and if i if i go to the register and if i click on the same thing so this time register clicks so that means we are able to differentiate between the login and the register and also here we are able to write the logic so now when the login means we will try to do the uh, separate thing and when the register means we will try to do a separate logic so up to here it is everything is con completed now let's go to the nav bar okay and we will create a logout button also so uh, by the by before closing we will try to create a nav bar and we will try to create a logout button afterwards when the user successfully logs in so we need to show this logout button and here nav bar hyphen start and here i will do router link and i will give the router link or otherwise you will try to give a button okay it should be a button right so class is equal to button and i can write is hyphen info let's give a logout okay and let's see where this output will come yeah here i am able to see the logout okay let's see, let it be like this and we'll we'll do is hyphen small so it should be a small button if you try to see yeah it's a small button and let's give empty hyphen 3 okay and if you see here yeah it's a here and i will give ml hyphen 3 also that means little bit of uh, left side margin also i will give it and if you see here yeah so this is a logout button when the user clicks on this logout button the user has to logout so i am creating a logout button now if you see here if you minimize this page and you will be able to see if i click on this one you will be able to see the logout button here so it's working fine right so this is how we'll be doing so now we are able to differentiate between the login and the registration so we have completed this one so uh, hopefully this auth registration login form is completed and we are able to do this a uh, basic thing and the next video we'll try to do the firebase authentication and all those things we'll try to do it and now i'll be committing this all the code in a new branch that is video iphone 103 so that is a branch so this is our video and here validations done okay Val uh, or otherwise login and register logic implemented right uh, here i will be committing this code and i'll publishing this code and whoever may be having a doubts regarding this one so they can go to my github repository url so the link is provided in the description below of every video whoever may be following this project and all those things if they have any doubts or if they are stuck in any some issue so they can refer to this they can refer to this code uh, for every video i will be creating a branch so you can go to that particular video branch and you can check the code hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.